Hello there, today I want to talk about respect and diversification. Today I attended a network marketing event and after I got introduced, a gentleman approached me within minutes to say, are you into Beat Club? And I said, no. He continued, are you serious? It has to do with Bitcoin mining. And I calmly said, you know what? There are too many things on my plate already. I can't add anything else now. I saw the disappointment in his face like I was missing a great deal. You know what, maybe I am, but one thing I know is this, I'm not ready for anything extra. Now, why am I narrating this experience? I've got nothing with BitClub. I have, I've got nothing against BitClub, I meant to say that. But how we present our businesses as network marketing professionals, it's a key thing, it's very important that we pay attention to it. As network marketing professionals, we must realize that what excites us will not necessarily excite other people. And no matter what we do, some people will never ever join our teams or business. Now it requires humility on our part to appreciate our differences and to respect other people's opinion on the subject matter, whatever subject matter we might be introducing. Now it's, it's important to realize that it can be difficult to tolerate other people's opinions, especially about, it's, it's about sensitive subjects that you've got strong feelings about. However, Anyone has to, everyone at some point, the other would have to deal with people that disagree with them, you know, at times. Now, it's important that we work on our, our, our mindset. It's, 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 it's key, it's vital that we make ourselves, you know, we're able to manage our reaction so that we're less sensitive about the way people, when people disagree with us. And if, when we run into conflicts, we should approach such conflicts with, in a calm fashion as network marketing professionals. In fact, in any business you find yourself. Some subjects, however, can be so sensitive that it's better for you to avoid them sometimes. A very sensitive topics may be so personal that differences of opinion can cause strong tension. A network marketing, even within the industry, can sometimes be so sensitive, especially when you are attacking someone else's business. So it's important, it's, 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 it's vital that we pay attention to what we say, how we say, how we present our businesses, so that we show respect for other people. It's also, it, 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 is, it is instructive that we appreciate the fact that a network marketing climb or platform has become very volatile, disruptive, and very interesting and exciting. Okay, and there's a fine line between being focused and diverse. I mean, a bit between being focused and diversifying. Most people can multitask, but they cannot multifocus. And because of that, we must learn to decide. We must decide what we really want in life and what we want from network marketing. We must be clear, and these things we want must be clear enough so that it can guide our decisions and our steps all the way. Diversification is good, make no mistakes. But how far should you diversify? How wide should you diversify? According to Warren Buffett, wide diversification is only required when investors do not understand what they are doing. Deep words. And John Neff, John Neff nailed it when he said, obsession with broad diversification, diversification is a sure road to mediocrity. Obsession with broad diversification is a, sure, is a sure road to mediocrity. So ask yourself, have you become so oversold on diversification that fear of having too many eggs in one basket has caused you to put far too little into companies and businesses that you thoroughly know and far too much in others which you know nothing about. Have you allowed your fear and the, 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 the stories of not putting your eggs in one basket to push you so far that you've neglected everything you know about certain businesses and instead of focusing on them, you are diversifying and putting your money and your resources and businesses that you do not know so much about and risking all of that. So my question to you is, can you manage one business? My advice to you is stick to it. Can you manage two? Stick to them. Can you manage three? Stick to them. Obviously, you can't do everything. No matter how nice it might sound, and even when it comes to those stupid first mover advantage cliché. 
You cannot do everything. So, do yourself a favor. Protect yourself and protect your sanity. Humility is a key quality that empowers us to identify and recognize our limits and respect them. Spending decades in an industry does not give you the right to perfection and flawless decision making. And the network marketing uh, business or industry is hugely lucrative and phenomenally empowering. It is very easy to become haughty and proud, especially when your numbers are soaring and you begin to make progress, outstanding progress. You become a top earner, you know, a point person in the business. It can get into your head. Do not forget, intelligence without humility can be your biggest trap. That's my message to you. And Sir John Templeton nailed it. He summed it up when he said, in my 45-year career as an investment counselor, humility did show me the need for worldwide diversification to reduce risk. That career did help me to become more and more humble because statistics showed that when I advised a client to buy one stock to replace another, about one-third of the time the client would have done better to ignore my advice in other endeavors humility about how little i know has encouraged me to listen more carefully and more wisely do you share this man's sentiments do you i hope these words also guide you in your business or career wherever you find yourself especially if it is network marketing a network marketing profession so if you're a network marketing professional out there, a home business professional out there, I salute you, I respect you, you've got my support. Look, we're in this together. It's not a perfect way, but it's a better way. Let's keep the flag flying. Let's keep it going. Let's be professional in everything we do. And let's keep pushing. All right? So, um, what do I have to say? Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy your holiday. I mean, in Nigeria here, at the time of recording this, it's going to be a holiday by tomorrow. And most importantly, sound sleep. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time.